So, a long, long time ago, there was a little town in China. And this year, they were planning to have the biggest New Year's celebrations they had ever had. One month before, they were already preparing. They were, make, they were painting their windows red for good luck. They were making delicious kinds of sweets and special foods that they could eat on the day. And FB class, who were the best makers in the whole town. Are you good makers, FB? Yeah. Are you good makers? Same in this town. FB were the best makers in the whole town. They were making all sorts of lanterns and hot air balloons and special things to go up around the town. And bunting, which are those little flags that you can hang everywhere and special coloured lights. Oh, you've got some there. Look how good makers you are. I told you, it was exactly the same in this Chinese town. FB class with a top. And they were making the town look so special. And New Year was getting closer and closer, and everyone was getting more and more excited. But then, very close to New Year's Eve, Mr. Chow, who was the big man who ran the candle shop, ran into town. He had been out buying some more wax for his candles. And he ran into the town and everyone said, hello Mr. Chow. And he didn't listen to them, he went straight past them. And he ran, sweat pouring down his face, straight to the town hall. Where the mayor lived and where the mayor ran the town. And Mr. Chow <laughs> banged on the door. Someone came to visit him. Someone came to answer the door and said, what's the matter? Mr. Chow said, I need to speak to the mayor. And so they took him to the mayor. And when... He had a private audience with the mayor. Mr. Chow told him what had been scaring him so. There's a dinosaur outside of the town. It's coming this way. It's going to eat us. It looks fierce. It's massive and it's hungry. The mayor said, Mr. Chow, you seem very excited. Sit down and have a glass of water. Dinosaurs have been dead for hundreds of millions of years. There cannot be a dinosaur outside of the town, okay? Mr. Chow said, I promise you, I promise you, it's out there, it's out there on the hill. If it makes you feel better, I'll send my advisor to go and have a check. Will that make you feel better? And so the mayor got his advisor and he said, Go and check the hill out there. Mr. Chow seems convinced that he's seen a dinosaur. So can you go and just check it out to make him feel better? The advisor went out to the hill outside of town and he came back and his face was white. I'm sorry, sir, but it appears there is a dinosaur out there. I can't believe it, but there is. Now the mayor trusted his advisor and he knew he wouldn't be lying, and he knew he wasn't imagining things. There really was a dinosaur outside of town. He called his chief scientist to him, and he said, Chief scientist, there appears there's a dinosaur outside of town. Mr. Chow said there was, and now my advisor. I want you to go and check it for me. And the scientist went out too, and he checked, and he came back, and he too was white as a sheet. He says there is a big dinosaur there and I believe it's the very fiercest one of all. What's the fiercest dinosaur of all? What's the fiercest dinosaur that you can think of? Yes, you. Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <gasps> and the mayor said, how's the dinosaur still alive? They've been dead for hundreds of millions of years. Everybody knows that. The scientist said, well, it must have been sleeping. It must have been sleeping all that time. And now he's woken up, and he is very, very hungry. Uh -oh. Does anyone ever wake up in the morning and they're very, very hungry, ready for their breakfast, yeah? Yeah! That, imagine if you had slept for a hundred million years, how hungry you'd be. <laughs> he didn't need a bowl of cornflakes. He didn't want a piece of toast. He was going to eat the whole town. <gasps> hands up if you need to say something but hands down for the moment because I'm desperate to tell you what happened next the mayor called for his soldier for his bravest soldier called him to him he said 
Yes, sir! With a spear like that. And the mayor said, Something very terrible has happened. There's a dinosaur headed for the town. I'm serious. The soldier said, Oh, really? A dinosaur? What kind? Diplodocus? No. Triceratops? No. Not a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. <gasps> and the mayor said, You're our only hope. You've got to go out there and fight it. Me? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a little bit busy. <laughs> At the moment, I've got a cake in the oven that I've got to get out. Yeah. Like, well, he is very scared. And eventually, so he doesn't have to do it, he says, I can't fight him, I'm too small. Let's get one of the animals from the zoo to do it. And so, the mayor calls the zookeeper to him. I... And he says, zookeeper, there's a dinosaur outside of town. The zookeeper says, dinosaurs have been dead for 100 million years. Yes, I know, but this one's been sleeping and he's hungry and he's coming this way. So don't waste time, just trust me. Do you have an animal that you think is fierce enough to fight Tyrannosaurus Rex? I think lion. it's, I think it's a lion. I think it's a lion. Do you know lion. what? Do you know what? Wait. Do you know what? Because she's exactly right. That's what the zookeeper said. He said, we have a fierce lion in the zoo and I think he just might be fierce enough. So they took the lion out of the zoo and they took him up to the hill outside of town and they could see the Tyrannosaurus Rex up there on the top of the hill. <laughs> and they let the lion off his leash and he said, go on, go fight him. And the lion ran back into the town, back into the zoo and back into his cage. He was terrified. <sighs> the mayor sighed. Right, zookeeper. Do you have another fierce animal? Tiger. One that's a bit braver. Hands tiger. up, please. I only tiger. choose your hands up. Yes, you. Tiger. A tiger. That's exactly what the zookeeper said. Tigers actually are much fiercer than lions because lions, it's actually only the girl lions that hunt and the male lions aren't as brave as everyone thinks they are. And actually, a tiger catches as much stuff in one week as a whole pack of lions. So a tiger's actually quite a bit more fierce. The tiger will scare off the Tyrannosaurus. So they took the tiger out of his cage and they took him up onto the hill and the Tyrannosaurus was getting closer and he roared. And they let the tiger off and the tiger was brave. And he went up to the Tyrannosaurus growling his most fierce growl. And he got up to him and he got close and he scratched him like that. <laughs> Sharp claws. The Tyrannosaurus looked down for the tiger had only scratched his toe because Tyrannosaurus is so big. <laughs> the poor tiger looked up just in time to see that Tyrannosaurus's jaws come down and whoom, swallow him whole. <gasps> the mare was getting more and more scared by the second. Zookeeper, you must have an animal that's bigger your biggest animal! Your biggest animal! What do you think the zookeeper's <laughs> biggest animal was? Uh, elephant! Elephant! You're exactly right! His biggest animal was elephant! He said, right! Elephant! Elephant will do it! He's got big long tusks! She's a very fierce element, elephant! And she must be able to do it! So they went back to the zoo and they took the elephant out and they took her up onto the hill and there the Tyrannosaurus was! <laughs> Roaring at them all! And they gave the elephant a slap on her great bum and they said, Go on! Go and get the Tyrannosaurus! Go and fight her! <laughs> and the elephants, who were very clever, clever creatures, wanted to protect her little town. And so she went up to try to fight the Tyrannosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus lifted its great foot and she stabbed it underneath its foot. Do you know when you go downstairs in the morning and you've been playing with Lego, Lego the night before yeah. and you step on a bit of Lego? Yeah. I've done that It's so I've painful, that isn't it? That's exactly what it was like for the Tyrannosaurus. It was like, ooh, ow, 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 ow. Because you had pierced them with a tusk. It was <laughs> but so... But I Lego, it do not even hurt my foot. <laughs> really? Well, it hurt this Tyrannosaur and he was so angry, he snapped up the elephant in one bite. Uh, 
Uh oh, not again. And he still wasn't full and he was still coming for the town. The mayor and all his advisors and the scientist and Mr. Chow and the soldier all ran back to the town and they hid in the mayor's hall. The mayor was crying. The town is lost. We've used all our fierce animals. The soldier can't fight him. We've got no chance. He's going to come and eat us all. That's terrible. Now it happened that FB were on a school trip that day to the mayor's office. They were putting up some of their bunting in the town hall. And they were there. And someone from FB piped up and said, I know an animal that's fiercer than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The mayor and his advisors and the scientists and Mr. Chow and the soldier all looked over and they said, and what's that then? And the little girl said, a dragon! <laughs> and everyone laughed at her. Come on, little girl, dragons aren't real. They're make-believe, they're just in stories. The little girl said, I know, but they're still fiercer than a Tyrannosaur. But it's not going to help us if they're only, make-believe they're only a, a, a creature from imagination. She said, no, they can still help us. And the mayor said, well, I would like to know how. And the little girl said, we'll show you. And everyone in FB class went to grab their paper and their scissors and their sticky tape and their sellotape and their papier-mâché and they set to work. They set to work making a giant paper dragon. <coughs> and because they were such good makers, it didn't take them very long. And before long, they had a colourful, paper dragon that they could fit inside. The mayor and the soldier and Mr. Chow and the scientist and the advisor gasped when they saw its terrifying face and its big white teeth. It looked so real. FB class got inside that dragon and they danced out the door weaving like a snake. And they danced out the main streets and then out of the town and the Tyrannosaurus was there at the gates of the town and it roared its terrible, terrible roar. But FB class were all together and together they are actually bigger than the Tyrannosaurus when they were all together. And the Tyrannosaurus saw this great snake dancing up to it that didn't seem scared at all and its big eyes which were actually made out of papier-mâché. Look straight into the Tyrannosaurus eyes and all of FB class roared a terrible roar. Let's hear it. <coughs> Louder than that to scare a Tyrannosaur. <coughs> and the Tyrannosaurus was terrified and he put his tail between his legs and he ran away, never to bother the town again. And ever since then, in China, when they have New Year, they make a giant dragon that the children can dance inside. All because FB class were clever enough to see that their imaginations could save the town.